Okay, you are for next. Welcome back to another episode of Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. That's a big yard dog, just in case you didn't know. Guys, last week my yard looked like this. Okay, and like SpongeBob would say, four days later. What the? Okay guys, if you're shocked at the video, don't be shocked guys. There's nothing wrong with my Bermuda lawn. Now, like I said, that sunny land pushed me all the way out past October um, to the fifth day of November. And literally on the fifth day, she su succumbed to, <laughs> to mother nature guys. And what is going on is that the lawn is going dormant, all right? And some of you guys are like, well, why you got all those 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 leopard spots in your lawn? So okay, you are for next. Look, here's what's going on, all right? Once the temperatures drop and you start getting those 60 degree weather and uh, 50 degree weather, your grass is gonna start to go into transition, all right? Transition from a um, healthy growing lawn to a healthy going to sleep lawn, all right? And generally when it happens, and I could tell you with my yard, Normally, after I get that second frost, you know how you come out and you see that frost all over the yard? is telling the, the yard to basically to start transitioning over. With the lower temps, that ice, shorter daylight, your Bermuda lawn is going to go dormant. So now I have to, you have to understand, dormant does not mean D-E-A-D. -E all it is is that your Bermuda lawn is going to sleep and it's gonna be ready for the combat next year. And I wanna get a little closer so you can see, I still got some greenness in spots. All right, like today it's 70 something degrees, it's crazy, but that's what's going on. So I don't want you guys to get into a shock and you're trying to figure out what can I do now. Here's what I don't want you to do. I keep getting asked the question, BYD, can I go ahead and put down some more fertilizer, this and that, even though your yard is going dormant? The answer is no. If you if you follow my, my lawn care schedule, you're on track, guys. This is just a part of nature. You don't, you don't want to try to force growth on the lawn that's going dormant. Now, here's the other thing. A lot of you guys are watching videos that are saying for you to winterize your lawn that's true in a sense but if you have bermuda grass you're not winterizing your yard mid or late fall your rent your winterizing should have took place around by august um 15th your last synthetic fertilizer now some of you guys are going to push a little bit longer because you you just have hot weather people in hawaii uh, texas um, I've been getting those people hit me talking about my grass is still green, which is good. Okay. I, I wish mine was still green. <laughs> but when your grass is, you know your area, when your transition period comes, it's time to throttle back on that nitrogen. So my winterization is, my last fertilization was organic or you do the bio solid. And guys, all I'm trying to do is get my lawn prepared for next season, get my soil ready. Um, don't go out and, and guys if, if if you have bermuda grass that's one reason you clicked on bermuda grass central you can't follow cool season tips all the time on grass and you have warm season grass cool season and warm seasons are two totally different types of grass okay i get asked the other question well byd is it a myth um or is it any truth to your roots push deeper in the winter time if you have Bermuda, generally at the end of fall, your root growth will start to not go deeper. It's gonna level out. Matter of fact, it may start trying to contract. Winter, it's gonna be flat. It's not pushing deep. When you winterize, you're trying to get those roots healthy. All right, now this fall season grass, come fall, that's, that's they, they peak season. So you'll start to see that grass, those roots push deeper come hard frost winter they're not pushing deep come spring they'll start to revitalize and start to push deeper so the deeper roots generally 
are coming from your shrubs and your trees and this and that. That's why it's an awesome time to plant your trees, shrubs, bushes, whatever you want to call them, in the beginning of the fall or mid-fall because those roots will tend to start trying to push deep. But your grass, Bermuda grass, it's, you're not getting super deep roots during the winter time. It's, it's pretty much a shutdown. They don't call it dormant for nothing. I know people think that, yeah, okay, well, the top growth is dead and the bottom just going to push, 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 push. And believe it or not, at one point, I thought that. You know why I thought that? Because you're constantly listening to people who don't really have that type of grass. Guys, I've cut sections of sod out of my grass in the wintertime just to see. And I don't see, basically see any roots. But then again, it's going to depend where you stay. If you got really good soil, your roots may grow a tad bit deeper, but that's not deep growing root weather. So guys, yeah, it's fall. I'm going to run you around here and let you just kind of see what's going on here. You can see right there in, in the back. Um, this area, we actually cut it a tad bit lower because it's, it's a little bit uneven, but I cut it a tad bit lower because what I'm going to start doing is working this down to one inch. All right, right now, this, this section is right at three inches. That front section you saw is at four because believe it or not, it got up to six when that Hurricane Sandy came in and that good fertilizer I had down just kept this grass growing. One reason why it stayed green the whole time, all right? So we're in the back back here and you see I got a lot of leaves. You can see it's gonna go dormant a tad bit faster back here because it's shade. Now, bear in mind, that sod, this over here is common Bermuda. All this grass you see right here is what BUID planted himself. Now, when this grass goes dormant, it's gonna disappear basically. The only thing you're gonna see is look like dead roots sitting on the ground. Um, and that's part of the Bermuda grass when it goes dormant. That com common Bermuda grass, the one you planted, guys, not the sod. Sod is the, the grass that the manufacturer, not manufacturer, the builder put down. And how do you find out the name of it? Guys, either you're going to ask your neighbors, maybe they know, or generally they all put down a Tifway product or 419, the cheapest sod it is, basically. But you still can make it turn green. All right, and right here, you see why I cut it lower with that big lawnmower. You can check that video out right there where I was doing the, um, it's in my master class video, guys. It's a 25 minute class. It's a master class and it teaches you all about how to cut grass um, if you're gonna bag it or if you're gonna mulch it, all right? So click on that link above if you wanna watch that video. But you can see as we get on around here, guys, We still green now, still greener than everybody else, man. Look across the street. But yeah, she's going to sleep, guys. So, okay, you are for next. Look, I didn't want to make a super long video about this, but your Bermuda grass is going dormant. Guys, do not feel shame and <laughs> share this video with your friend. Guys, the only way to grow this channel is for you to click that share button, put this in your social media, make a comment about this guy named uh, BYD, Bermuda Grass Central. And somebody was asking me, what does KOS stand for? Hashtag KOS. King of the South. You're tuning to Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.